Hello and welcome back to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the rarest heavy tank in World of Tanks, the Concept 1B. I'm going to break this tank down into two key aspects for you. I'm going to talk about its background and why it's rare. And I'm going to break it down into some gameplay and we're going to talk about some of its statistics and show you its strengths and weaknesses. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about why this tank is so rare. The Concept 1B was only available through Ranked, which is a now discontinued competitive mode in-game where players fought at Tier 10 against other players to progress up a Ranked-based system where progression was rewarded with rewards which allowed you to unlock the Concept 1B. So, there was three seasons across a year. This was the 2020-2021 season which the Concept 1B was available in. To progress, you had to reach the next rank and to reach the next rank you had to perform so it rewarded players for the best performance mediocre performance and then no performance in wins and losses so it was a tough system to progress up but to reach the concept 1b and to be able to unlock the tank for free you had to get three chevrons each season which required you to qualify progress through division three division two and at the end of Division 2, you got your third chevron, allowing you to collect enough over the three seasons, if you repeated that three times, to unlock the Concept 1B for free. That is one of the reasons why this tank is so rare. However, upon the next season of Ranked, which was 2021-2022, the Concept 1B became available in the Ranked Bond store. To unlock the ability to be able to buy this tank, you then had to progress through another season of Ranked, to at least Division 2. Upon reaching Division 2, you unlocked the Bond store and unlocked the ability to be able to purchase the Concept 1B for a maximum price of 20,000 Bonds. However, if you continued to progress across those three ranked seasons of the season of the 114 SP2, then you unlocked discounts. 500 for early game, so early Division progress, and then 1500 for late Division progress. So you could get a maximum discount of 6,000 bonds per season. So allowing you to get 6,000 in the first season, 6,000 in the second season, and 6,000 in the third season allows you to get a maximum discount of 1,800 on this tank, allowing you to purchase it for 2,000 bonds. But not must say, not many people did this due to its constant demand for you to reach the maximum level in each rank season. And the players which were capable of doing that had already got the Concept 1B from the previous ranked season. So, that is why this tank, I believe, is honestly one of the rarest tanks in the game. Now, let's talk about some of its gameplay, and I'll break it down into some of its statistics and highlight what this tank truly is possible of, because it is an absolute beast. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into the gameplay then. So, we're playing the Concept 1B on Mana Line, and as we've discussed, this is the rarest uh, heavy tank in World of Tanks. So... I'm going to highlight through this replay the strengths, the weaknesses, and what this tank is capable of. Because in my opinion, this tank truly is something special. And our player here, Kaisus, is going to highlight to us what is possible when you play this tank to its strengths. Okay, I must say, play this tank to its strengths and you will do exceptionally well. If you are not aware of this tank's strengths, it is bang average. So you have to be aware of that. So, as you can see here, Kaisus has taken a nice early game position to punish the cross, which you can do with this tank. Because without a turbo, you can still get this tank up to 45 forwards, which is towards the top end of tier 9 heavy tanks. You're pushing into those positions which not any other heavy tank at tier 9 can actually reach. So you're able to pick up that early game farm. This tank has DPM to allow you to do that. You've got 2.7k DPM, which is, it's not the top level, so we're not talking uh, conqueror levels of DPM here, but it is the next best thing. It truly does allow you to work a ridge line and keep that DPM going, especially when you use its speed in combination to take a nice early game position and put that farm out. So as you can see here, Kaisers is already up to 2k damage, which is impressive in the first minute and a half of the game. And... Unfortunately, the Team 7032 is foul, but he's still holding the position using this tank's 10 degrees of gun depression, which is just the best. You do not get any better than 10 degrees of gun depression. 
you can sit on pretty much any ridge line in the game and be completely invincible. And this tank has a little bit of a knack for being invincible on a ridge line. As you can probably tell by looking at it, it has a very, very, very narrow turret. And that plays this tank strength. And that is pretty much its party trick, is being able to sit on a ridge line and be completely impenetrable. Because you cannot penetrate this thing unless you are pushing 360 plus heat pen. It truly is absolutely incredible. So, let's talk a little bit about its armor whilst we're here sat on a ridge line and we're bouncing some stuff like the juice for example. So, this tank's magnet, and I'll, I'll pause it actually and I'll, I'll show you as we can see it sat on a ridge line here. So, here is its mantlet. This little square box is this tank's gun mantlet. Anywhere on this gun mantlet, at its thinnest, and its absolute thinnest, it's 320 millimeters. At its thickest, it's 500 plus. So no tank in the game is penning that. And to be able to hit the spots which are 320, it's directly either side of the gun to the left of the box. To the left of the box and to the right of the box. They're the only places you're penetrating this tank's in its mantlet. So, good luck hitting that, because that is almost about a total radius of 3 pixels. So, good luck hitting it. You're not going to, reliably. Next is this tank's roof, which, as you can see, when it uses its gun depression, you cannot see. So the only thing you have to shoot at is its mantlet. But, let's say hypothetically you've got it at this angle, you can see its roof. That is 340 millimeters at its finished, when it's angled like this. So, pretty much most tier 10 medium tanks will be able to penetrate it, and you might be able to roll high with some tier 9 heat and heat penetration in mediums and in heavy tanks. But, it's not a reliable penetration, and I must note, reliability, that is this tank's strength with its armour, you're not going to reliably be able to penetrate it. It does have a cupola, which is weak, it's about 180mm of pen, so most things can pen it, but, as you can see, it is absolutely tiny. You're not hitting this thing if it's got, once again, it's using its gun depression. That is all you can see. It's a pixel. So, good luck hitting it, because you're not going to. So, let's keep going on now, discuss this tank's armour. It has got another weak point, which I will show you in a little bit. It's the driver's hatch on the front. That's 210mm of armour. But, once again, if it's using its gun depression, you can't see it. So, good luck hitting it. You can only hit its driver's hatch, for example, if it's facing you on flat ground. So, do bear that in mind. Also, one of this tank's little party tricks is it's so low profile. It's not a tall tank, so you can play little undulations in the ground like this. Using its... hiding its hull completely, using its turret armour, using its gun depression, and just farm up your opponents. And, as you've probably seen throughout this game, this tank has interesting gun handling. It's got everything else going for it, but one of its vague balancing factors is its gun handling. It has 2.1 seconds aim time, which is still very good, but it's limited by its dispersion. It has 0.35 dispersion, which does not allow you to particularly snipe at long range, but it still feels reliable. So statistically, it's not good, but in practice, it actually isn't that bad, as you will see. It does allow you to hit shots, but it will bloom out after every single little movement, so you do have to bear that in mind. So if you're talking equipment, I recommend running Hardening Rammer and V-Stabs on this tank. But if you do want to run a turbo, if you find this tank just a little bit too slow for your liking, do run a turbo and you can get it up to 51 forwards and 22 in reverse, which is just... Oh, it's just incredible. That is pushing medium tank speeds. So you can take positions that medium tanks go to and just bully them. Because that's what this tank is just great at. Just bullying everything that it faces. It truly is just impressive. Penetration. It's important to note this tank has very good penetration. 258 standard, which is one less than the Super Conqueror at tier 10, which is 259 as its standard pen. So as a tier 9, it's got tier 10 penetration. And its gold pen is a little bit lacking, but it's still impressive because it's heat. 310 millimeters heat penetration, which is plenty at tier 9. There's not many things at tier 9 that you cannot pen with 310 millimeters of heat. 
even when you're facing tier 10s, 310 millimeters of heat is enough to punch through the turret faces of pretty much anything. So use it. You know, as you've seen here, Kaiser has made good use of his ammunition here. You know, he's had a few standard. He's used his going into his heat. And as you can see, he's ordered it for 6.5k. This replay, I chose it because it wasn't the highest damage amount. It wasn't the most impressive gameplay. But it just highlighted what this tank can do in a top tier matchup by literally sitting on a ridge line and just bullying its opponents. And I know you're going to go, oh, you could have chosen a 10k game. Yeah, this tank is completely capable of doing 10k, even 11k damage. If you go and watch replays, you can have a look at replays. And there are hundreds of 10k games. But I chose this one just because it was the best one that highlighted what this tank is capable of. And why, I'm just going to tease you all, you're not going to be able to pick it up. Because it is completely exclusive to ranked, as we discussed in the first aspect. You are not able to pick this tank up anymore. It is gone forever. Unless Wargaming do their typical thing of, ooh, dangle the carrot. But it should be completely exclusive, and that is why this tank is one of the rarest in the game. So... Keep your eyes out for it, because you never know, one day Wargaming may do a big funny and run out of money and dangle it in our faces again. But in the meantime, this tank is completely exclusive, and only those players which dedicated their time to play ranked and put the time in and grinded, or forked out 20,000 bombs, have this tank. So, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going for 500 subs by the end of the year, so become a part of that. And I will see you all soon. Bye.